know you're going to make it out or you made it out, give God a praise for what he already did. No, I said give him praise for what he already did. And just tell whoever you're standing next to, you ain't seen nothing yet. I said tell him you ain't seen nothing yet. Eyes have not seen ears have not heard neither has it entered in the heart of man what God not is preparing has already prepared tap two people tell them it's a done deal I said tell them it's a done deal and nothing's going to be able to stop that turn to Whoever you are standing next to tonight, say to them, I don't know why. I just feel like I need to tell you it's your night. I don't know why I feel like I just need to tell you it's your night. Well, tell them you ain't seen nothing yet. Help me honor these pastors, my sons and daughters and their wives who have come tonight. Can you help me? The first ladies are on the front row. Can you help me give God praise for them tonight? I want you to scream until God works a miracle in every ministry over there. Because I am on an expedited course with glory tonight, um, I need you to, to help me and just tell the person next to you your prayer and your answer are already in the room. And just look at one of them and say, here's the answer to everything you've prayed for. Done. No, I said, tell them done, 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 done. Wait, tell your neighbor you'll have the results in your hand by Wednesday. You got to... If they let you lay hands on it and say devil. Just tell them say devil. I almost had testimony service again. testimony so tell somebody say it's getting ready to happen and nobody's gonna be able to stop this to her. Everybody agree. You're a precious baby. I uh, spoke prophetically to her not long ago and told her that she was going back to school, but she wasn't going to have to pay for it. I... See, sometimes people don't understand that when we go to a testimony is because God's about to multiply. So he does it for one so he could does it for another one. 
you, you tell your neighbor say another one's gonna get it I, I don't I don't so I, I told her what God was gonna do but tell, tell um so she ready to preach she's taking my mic sorry okay okay <laughs> Um, so I did go get back into school. I'm getting another master's. Um, um, it's in nutrition, so I am tying together food and medicine. Um, he also prophesied that. Um, but I also got a GA position that not only pays tuition, but I have a stipend that'll pay throughout my whole school program. We, we going to shout now or we going to wait till later? I need three of y'all. You better come get her. She gonna do that dance. I, I, I tell you, tap somebody. Tell them, say, neighbor, it's gonna happen for you. Hey, hey, since you right there, come back. Come back. Come back. Because I told him on that side about a week and a half ago, maybe two weeks, I think, I can't remember how far back, that um, he was getting ready to get a position at his job. Everybody that don't have the degree but has a desire, just wave at me. I said, if you don't have the degree, but have the desire. Watch this. So I told him right there. He cried. He cried. The Holy Ghost was strong here. He stood there and he cried. What happened? I got the job without the degree. <laughs> it's testimony time. You, you got you to gotta look at somebody and just say, I'm next. Come here. Sit you right there. Come on. Testimony time. So then I spoke to her last Sunday and said, you got a, you remember, you got a laptop coming and there's not going to be an interview. What happened? I got the laptop without the interview. So you got the job without an interview? Yeah, they said they had been looking for me. Just, just tap two people, tell them somebody's looking for you. Life now is sweet and my joy is complete for I am saved, saved, oh. Tell your neighbor, save, but tell them I expect a three-day turnaround. Let me read my notes. The book of Genesis chapter 26. Tell two people in your section, I'm going to testimony service. God's going to do it so big, they're going to have to pause the service to let me speak. See, some of y'all don't know when to say it. They're going to have to slow everything down just to let me talk. Genesis chapter 26, verse 1 and 2. There was a famine in the land besides the first famine that was in the days of Abram. And Isaac went to Abimelech, the king of the Philistines, to Gerar. And the Lord appeared to him and said, Go not into Egypt, dwell in the land which I shall tell you of. Tell your neighbor, you're going to learn to go where he tells you. Verse 12. Verse 12. Then Isaac sold in the land and received in the same year a hundredfold. And the Lord blessed him. Do me a favor and tell your neighbor we need to extract some words here. Same year. Hundredfold. And blessed. Verse 18. Verse 18. Ride with me. Verse 18. And Isaac dug again the wells of water which they had dug in the days of Abraham his father. For the Philistines had stopped them after the death of Abraham and called their names after the names by which his father had called them. And Isaac's servants dug in the valley and found there a well of springing water. And the herdsmen of Gerah did strive with Isaac's herdmen saying the water is ours and he called the name of the well Essek because they strove with him and they dug another well and they strove for that also and he called the name of it Sitna. and he removed from there and dug 
another well and for that they strove not and he called the name of it Rehoboth for and he said for now the Lord hath made room for us and we shall be fruitful in the land and he went up from there to Beersheba or Beersheba and the Lord appeared to him the same night and said I am the God of Abraham your father fear not I am with you I will bless you and multiply your seed for my servant Abraham's sake verse 25 and he built an altar there called upon the name of the Lord and pitched his tent there and Isaac's servants dug a well do me a favor and tell two people the fight is over just, just find somebody and tell them the fight is over just, just look across the room at somebody else and say sometime this week God's going to make room for you you may be seated so I don't know who needed it just tell somebody the fight is over but sometime this week God's going to make room for you sisters and brothers ladies and gentlemen tonight we won't take a long time with an introduction because I can feel the presence of God already because I do I understand that in this room are some individuals who are in the place called Gerar you, you are in the battle of your life trying to keep your composure and your character stable you're trying not to become the old you in a new season but the problem is is there are some people who don't know you like they probably should because if they really knew you they would know not to play with you because you're not to be played with and then they would know that not only did he save me but he's still saving me and I, I'm not a hundred percent yet I'm probably a good 60 but I need you to know that he's still working on me and I'm trying not to cut up too bad so let me get my salvation together before you try me is our prayer request but for some reason God won't let you get it together before they leave you alone because he's waiting for you to trust him with your trauma I need I need, I need help here he's, he's waiting for you to trust him with where you are because nobody gets on your nerves like people when God's trying to make you the person nobody no it's quiet over here nobody can ruffle your feathers like people who believe or say they believe in God but don't have God kind of character nobody can get on your nerves like individuals who you helped at one time who are now trying to mishandle you I don't understand why you could come from for me knowing that I gave up everything to help you I need five of y'all to come talk to me tell your neighbor say he working on me he working on me and if I were to pat myself on the back I would pat me on the back tonight because I didn't do what I dreamed I did to you I'm, I'm glad that the thoughts that I had I did not let my intrusive thoughts take over in my silent moment y'all are quiet here tell somebody he is keeping me he that's the wrong side tell him he keeping me he keeping me and I gotta tell you I'm doing a lot better than I thought I would cause by this time I would have snapped and you would have popped you you gotta know that I would have things would not have been wonderful but tell your neighbor thanks be unto God who causes me to triumph and tell somebody I'm glad I'm saved because I held it together God's got a plan for my life that don't make sense because I didn't fall apart when you thought I should he getting ready to make something out of me that eyes haven't seen and ears haven't heard tell your neighbor something big's coming out of this something big our our text tonight I got work to do. Our text tonight is um, 
found in the book of Genesis chapter chapter number 26 it starts out and says um, and there was a famine or another famine not the famine of Abraham the famine of Isaac if we are to look at this theologically you'd understand that famines don't come from demons Sonia, if there's going to be a famine, God has to create the famine. Okay, come, come back here. God didn't give the devil enough power to create famines or he would put you in one every time he tried. But if God ever creates a famine, it's for one or two reasons. It's either to challenge you or to change you. I still don't have nobody to talk to me. Tell your neighbor, if God creates a famine, it's because he either wants to change you or to challenge you. He does not create the famine to cause the earth to suffer he will create the famine to make you look up because there are times when you think you are the source and so he's got to cut your resource off for you to look to the hills from which I ain't got no church in there cometh my help my help tell somebody I don't ever want to get it twisted and if you see me testifying it ain't about my job it ain't about my car it ain't about my money it ain't about my portfolio if you see me dancing it's because of this and my my God shall supply all my needs according to tell your neighbor don't get it twisted God did this okay fine find you a, a praise partner and tell them say neighbor anything you see me with God did it okay with me and tell them anything I lost I don't even give the devil credit for that anything I lost God did it how dare you say it watch this and only the sanctified don't catch it for the Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away blessed be the name of the Lord so anything I lost God permitted it but he permitted it because he prepared me for something I can't see hallelujah okay. oh, um, God God um, God all of a sudden creates a famine and when the famine is created he gives direction without telling Isaac the famine is coming. Because sometimes it's for you, but he won't talk to you. Come here. Because watch what he does. Uh, the text says that the famine comes and then the next word I get, he doesn't tell me the famine is coming. I, I want to find the people who your income was good and then God surprised you. Your job was going well and then God surprised you. You was planning world travel and then all of a sudden you couldn't get local gas. It, I want to find the folk in the building who God surprised your account with a famine. Look down that row and ask your neighbor, say, neighbor, are you one of the ones that God had to surprise you to bless you? He... He creates a famine, but then watch what he says. Let's see if anybody responds to this, because your connections can become cancerous. I'm, I'm almost there now. I feel, I feel church coming. Ask your neighbor, are the people you connected to was keeping God from connecting with you? Okay, let's let me, watch what he said. Watch what he said. He said, uh, he said in verse 2, he said, don't go down to Egypt. Don't go to Egypt. I know you're comfortable in Egypt. You know your way around Egypt. You know how everybody responds and treats people in Egypt. Because every time things go rough, we try to go back where we come from. I, I got to find my folk in here tonight that, um, that the devil keeps giving you options to go backwards instead of going forward. I, I don't have no help in front of me tonight. I must be talking to them. Tell somebody, say, neighbor, I, I've had that door open. That sometimes when every door closes... The only comfortable door is the one God told me not to go to. Watch how he does 
Joseph. He said, don't go back to Egypt. That's why when your money got funny, the devil told you to move back home because he was trying to get you. Look down that row, look down that row and tell your neighbor, my money may be funny, but my faith ain't. Ah, you got to look at him and tell him. And then help me prophesy tonight. Look at somebody. If the devil said to you, move home, I need you to prophesy like this. I'm like a tree planted by the rivers of water and I shall not be. Tell your neighbor, there's a reason the devil's trying to run you out of town. Because your miracle ain't tied to you, it's tied to your location. And if I get out of pocket, I'm going to miss my miracle chasing something else. Watch, 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 drink. Because they they watching right now and they listening to me but they don't believe that that is scriptural I ain't gonna say nothing I came back up with the Bible because the text reads like this go to the brook Cherith for I have commanded the ravens to feed you there I didn't just command the ravens to feed you they can't feed you if you are not there tell two people if you get there the food's coming shucks you got to find somebody and tell them the ravens, the ravens, the ravens. Don't tell them the ravens are coming. You know, just shake somebody say the ravens are coming, the ravens. Watch, watch, watch. So, so, he tells him, he said, he said, don't go to Egypt. No, don't go to Egypt because Egypt is comfortable. Everybody know you. But the only thing everybody knows about you in Egypt is your past. So they can only remind you where you come from. They can't tell you where you're going. Watch friends who have a memory but don't have a forecast. I need you to be able to tell me where I'm getting ready to end up. If you can tell me everything I did negative but can't see God's hand, we ain't friends no more. Don't remind me of how I got drunk. Remind me of how he saved me after I did it. Don't remind me of what I used to smoke. Remind me that his hand is on me and no weapon. Okay. Okay. Um, tell, tell two people around you, say tonight your praise gonna close a gate tell them God's about to tighten the gate where the enemy tries to take you out of here you gotta shake them and tell them watch what God's about to do God's about to close the gate on the enemy so that he does not infiltrate you another time oh do me a favor slap three folk high five and say by 3 a.m. the enemy's gonna be locked out mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. okay watch watch he said I'm gonna see I'm gonna see who gonna shout right now I'm gonna see who gonna shout now because verse 2 he said don't go to Egypt but but then verse 12 verse 12 it said and Isaac sold in the same year yeah yeah hold on because most of us are waiting to sow till the famine is over because when faith comes into famine it's either self preservation or self propelling moments and you gotta watch cause either you gonna throw you forward or you gonna lock you backwards I gotta talk to you so watch what he does he does not hold his seed when the famine came he sold it do me a favor and tell your neighbor I've been given while not living like I want to God's gotta honor the sacrifice not the amount Look at the text. It don't tell us what he sold. Say, neighbor, say, it don't tell us what he sold. 
It just said that he did it. Catch this. It said, and, and, and he sold in the same year. Tell, tell two people, say, this going to happen in the same year. Tell, tell them, say, neighbor, it's going to happen in the same year. To tell them that this going to happen this year. I, I'm not expecting God to blow my mind in 2025. I expect him to restore my mind in 25 for what he does to me in 24. It done got so quiet I can't get no help here now. You getting ready to one, two, three. You getting ready to go back to school. And God said, I, yes, ma'am, you. He said, you're going back to school and I'm going to make them pay for it. Good God, look at that. He said, I'm going to make them pay for it. He said, to tell you this, the classroom won't be your final home. He said, assistant principal at the elementary school will be. I got to do this. When she get done running, tell her God says she gonna make her daddy proud with this one. Uma, Sheto, Sanananda, I told you I had work to do, so I was trying to hurry up. One, two, three, four, five. Fifth row, stand back up. You got in the white. You got on, yeah, yeah, stand up. Yeah, hey. How you doing? Doing good? Doing good? She can't hear me over there. That's a problem. You doing well? Okay. So let me tell you tonight that the Lord said to say this to you like this because I have to get back to where he sold the seed in, in 2024 or in the year he's in, the year we in. I got to give you this and this is what I need to tell you tonight. He said no more struggling with this. You're going to get the promotion. I need to tell you. Okay. Sergeant Chano Sama Mahane no Bosata and he sold in the same year and he sold a man down about Kaya. And he sold in the same year. In the year he sold in, it said, let, let, me, let me read it here, because God gave back to him a hundred fold and blessed him. Okay, wait a minute. I, I can read a little bit. Those are two separate things. Okay. I can't find my game. I, I, I'll be able to find you right here. Because there's some people who are expecting a hundredfold. But tell your neighbor, you about to live in a place called overflow. I'm going to bless you for what you gave. And then here goes something extra. T tell your neighbor, say, every blessing I get coming with something extra now. Hold on. Hold please. Um, he said he, 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 he's Ella. She, that's her? That, that's, that's the lady? She's real? Do me a favor. And um, wh where's she at? I can hear, I can't see. Oh, she's down there. Thank you so much, ma'am, with the red on for telling me where she's at. I, I want to, I want to, oh, hallelujah. Tell her the baby shall be well. Tell her every dime she's supposed to get for the child, she getting ready to get it. I need I need some help back there. 
in, in that section because see when she screamed that wasn't about a job that was about a child oh yeah Just, just when she gets up, tell her God said I worked everything out. And, and tell her these words. Tell her these words. She won't have to retire where she is if she wants to teach. God said yes. Just about there, cause we y'all are y'all are making it work. <laughs> Trying to leave her alone. Um, the text then says that then Isaac went to a place called Gerar. He left where he sold, didn't leave the land. He just went to a place called Gerar. And tell her if she likes Cobb County Schools, God says that that's the place where she can teach at if that's where she wants to go. Did she fall back out? Let me get to this. Huh? She just did what? She just took a job there? Oh, okay, so I didn't know. Hey! <laughs> Woo! Hey, do me a favor, slap two people, high five, and tell them God's about to increase you. Let me do this because I got to preach because some people are bored if I'm not yelling. So let me get to my message. So the text says he goes to a place called Gerar. But he doesn't go because he wants to. I'm not talking to the people who are called, only to the people that are chosen. Because when you're chosen, you can think it's your decision. But it's always God's direction. And often what he does, I need somebody who God messed up your plans. Often what he does is he will order your steps. For the steps of a good man. Tell your neighbor, say, I wasn't even good when he started ordering them. But he knew what he was going to make me. So he started ordering me before he introduced me to himself. Steps of a good man. I'm sorry, I just saw my next building and I almost fell, right? I'm try, I gotta preach, but I just saw... I just saw something standing right there. Do, do me a favor. Fire your fire. I interrupted this mess. Fire your slap, slap somebody. High five. I need you to help me grab it. Just say done, done, done. No, 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 I feel a run in here. I feel a shock of the moon. Okay. Let me. Let me. No, 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 no. no. I got to read. Oh! I know. I got it's not a crazy thing. I saw it and heard God say, easy. <laughs> Let me please, please be seated. I got to do this. Please, please, no, no, no. No, 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 no,
please. Sit down, please. Sit down. Something just happened. Sit down, please. Please, I enjoy you. Please take your seat because you'll make me run. So, let's, let's work together. Let's, let's work together. Be seated, please. Don't, don't do nothing. Be seated. Uh, okay, where was I? He got ordered to. See, I'm talking about steps. That's what happened. He, he got ordered to the place called Gerar. Um, I'm, I'm able to tell who I came to preach to when I tell you what that means. Because when he got ordered to Gerar, he couldn't leave even when he wanted to. When he got ordered to Gerar, he couldn't back out even though he tried. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Gerar means this one word, annoyance. Okay, where are all the people who God drove you to a place where now people annoy you? God, if I had to get like, tell, tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, look at what I'm seeing. I have tried to back away from people annoying me and me not popping you like I feel like I should. But for some reason, as annoyed as I get, even when I used to run like old times, I can't find to go nowhere because he keeps locking me in. Even when I try to just have my personal moment, he makes me minister to somebody. Even when I'm trying to leave you alone and I'm trying not to act up with you, he keeps pulling faith out of me. If people have not annoyed you, then he probably has not anointed you. Been so annoyed I had to question my own faith. Been so annoyed I was aggravated enough to put my collar on the seat and put your teeth in the parking lot. I've been annoyed. I've been, I've been annoyed. And it's so annoying because I could handle you, but he won't let me. He, he won't let me do to you what I, what I, what I really want to do. You want to know that God's a keeper. He may not have kept you, but he kept me. That's what's keeping you. Text says, he comes to this place called Gerar and he digs the well that his father dug. He digs the well that his father dug. Here's he, the crazy part. Is he needed a move of God. So in order to get a move of God, he need a memory of man. I can't have a move of God unless I've seen him move somewhere else. That's why I need the memory of a man to give me a move of God. Watch this. So he realized my daddy has survived a famine. And if he lived through one, this one can't kill me. So you got to ask yourself, who are you connected to whose faith you can imitate? He goes and digs the well of his father. Tell your neighbor, we got to go back to what the old church did. To get the power that they had. We got more titles but we don't have more power. We got bigger buildings and smaller people. 
There's nobody helping me preaching here tonight. I, I, I've never seen this many conferences in all my days, and God has not been conferred in any one of them. I've never, I've never seen this in all. We got better click tracks and music than they had, but they had a glory that hit a room when dust used to come out the carpet. Tumors used to fall off, diseases used to leave people, cancer couldn't handle their prayer life, but now we in church preparing people to die instead of live. I need somebody to find me a church here now and tell somebody, I want the old power. I don't want the new one, don't give me what you got. Give me the power my mom and them had. Give me the glory the old church had. Give me a prayer meeting. Give me a shut-in. I don't want to come to your musical. I want to go to a prayer meeting. I want to see the Holy Ghost in demonstration. Where is the church at now? We're celebrities and entertainers. And so since you making your name great, he stepped out the building. But he said these words, and I, if I be lifted up, I will We come late because we don't like the songs. We come late because we don't like certain things. Baby, they had devotional service and demons would flee. Find me a church right fast. Look at somebody and tell them, hey, take me back to the old landmark. You didn't have to speak Hebrew and Greek. You just had to say, hi up here, shut the Mahando Summer. Look at somebody and say, I want the old church. Because your kids would come home drunk and sober up on your porch. They didn't hide shrooms in your house and they didn't hide weed under the bed. They didn't hide alcohol by the car. When God lived in the building, everything in the house got the Holy Ghost. I need a church in here tonight to ask God to take us back to the old day. If you got to kill everything in us, take us back to who we once were. Get rid of the form and fashion. I want the real unadulterated power. I want to see people's lives change. I want to see people set free. Where is the church of God? How we start with a bang and go out with a puff. Where is the church at? I've seen too many miracles to be quiet. I've seen too many miracles to shut up. I've seen this hand too many times for you to make me think God ain't gonna answer by fire. Send judgment to your house so we can clean the streets up. You gotta send judgment here. Clean the house. Get us back in order. We get ready to see a revival of the reverence of the things of God. You play too much in church. You play too much with holy things. You didn't see what happened to Isaiah? Don't you put your hand on nothing holy and think you're going to correct the house of God. Some will go to sleep. Some will drop dead. Hear me tonight. God is about to visit his house. And that is the word of the Lord. Tex said, said these words. Tex said. You know what just happened? We just struck one of them wells. That's what just transpired in here. We just hit one of them wells. You gonna go to church, revival gonna break out for 15 days at a time. You gonna show up and watch God start healing bodies. Hospitals gonna clear out. Watch what I'm telling. Hospitals gonna spit people back out. They ain't gonna die. You coming back, hear me? That's the word of the Lord. 
lay hands on your neighbor and tell him you will not die but you shall live there's no more premature death in your bloodline you ain't getting ready to go nowhere see some of y'all got church faith you ain't got bible faith Kayla, I'm sorry. I'm sorry early, baby. My baby had to go to the hospital last night. And uh, she went to the hospital last night and they said they was going to admit my, my baby in the hospital. I felt that. So she had went with her brother just thought he was going to be able to go and come back out while we were still fixing things up. And uh, when they said that, I, uh, I said, I'm on the way. I went there and told them, I said, my baby is in the back. They said, okay. I walked, I walked in. They said how long she was supposed to have to stay there. Okay. Uh -huh. I walked in there, okay. into the room. And uh, the doctor, he was, he was coming, uh, the, the nurse man, I forgot his name, what's his name? Who? That Mike? Daniel or something like that? I can't remember that name. It wasn't, it wasn't important. Um, so, so I knew which name I was coming from. So I came, I came in, and he said, uh, well, she did give me permission to tell you about her, her medical problem and blah, 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 blah. I said, I know we were just on FaceTime, you know? He said, yeah, he said, do you want me to explain? I said, no, I talked to her doctor already. <laughs> So I walked in. She she has a nickname. She called me. I'm not gonna say it here. She says it when I walked through the door. She said, "Oh, look at you." I walked through the door. I ain't even say hi. I said, "Satan, in the name of Jesus." I said the audacity of you to think you're going to flick my child tonight. I said in the name of Jesus, according to Isaiah 53 and 5, he was wounded for her transgression bruised for her iniquities, chastisement of her peace was upon him and by her strange stripes she's healed then I said according to 1 Peter 2 and 24 by whose stripes she is healed I said and I command this to be expedited I need, I need you to talk to me I need you to talk to me for a minute you know what my daughter said look at the benefits of having a daddy that's a pastor hey great So the length of time they said, I don't go in and argue with them because they got to take care of my baby. Yeah. So the length of time that they were saying that she's going to be in blah, 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 blah. I, I said, God, now you heard prayer and you answer those. So you got to do what you do. Well, she here tonight. <laughs> She texted me this morning before I preached and said, got my papers, I'm coming out of here. And watch this. The number they were looking for, why she get above what they were reckoning for? Tell your neighbor, God knows how to take you above anything. I need three of y'all to slap somebody high five and tell them, I want that kind of Jesus. Okay. I'm, I'm through. I'm through. Text says, and you know, I was, I said, I said, you, you be careful. I don't do nothing tonight. She said, all I'm gonna do is turn on the lights. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do nothing else. But I'm telling you, don't let her get up. I'm telling you tonight that God said I'm gonna complete the whole process by Tuesday, 7:30 p.m. <laughs> I need five of y'all to help me holler in here one time. Cause I feel a miracle. Oh. All right. Be still. 
So the text says that he goes and digs the well of his father. I'm at the end of the message. He goes and digs the well of his father, right? That the Philistines had stopped up. So can I tell five of y'all something who need to be free from why you're in the predicament you're in? It wasn't you, it was the Philistines. The well is stopped up not because of you, but because of somebody that don't like the God in you. Okay, tell your neighbor, say, wait a minute, I just got a revelation. And if you get this, then you're going to be able to go to sleep tonight and might have to dance right quick. I just found out I'm not cursed, I'm just chosen. Tell, tell two people, say, neighbor, you ain't cursed, you chosen. Oh, oh, oh. Almost Hold on, hold on, no, 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 no. He said, he said, and Isaac's servants dug in the valley and found there a well of springing water. They found a well of water, but they had to dig to get through it. Okay, I'm almost at my point where I can yell. Um, for the 25 of y'all in the room and the 75 online who needed to hear this, you're going to get it, but fatigue is fighting against your faith. Because you're so tired of digging down in wells that you don't know what to do with yourself. Tell, tell somebody, say, you don't know what to do with yourself. T tell two people, say, hey, neighbor, I need to tell you something tonight. The devil himself has played with you so bad that he's got you afraid to try again because the last time it didn't work. Y'all, they go help me preach, help me preach right there. Tell somebody, say, neighbor, you still gonna have to dig. No, no, shake them, say, you still gonna have to dig. And the reason you gonna have to dig is because there's water under this dirt. Tell your neighbor, say, everything you going through is taking you to something that's waiting for you. You gotta shake them and tell them, guess what, neighbor? Under the dirt is some springing water. And you didn't put the dirt in the way. So I come against fatigue in your spirit that's tired of fighting for what's yours. That's tired of believing for what God said you could have. I command a new spirit of dig to come on you. You get ready to dig through everything that the devil tried to keep you out of. He tried to make you so frustrated you wouldn't dig. But I came tonight to tell you God said just another dig. Yeah, just another dig. Watch what's about to happen. Just another dig. It's another dig here. Don't give up. Don't give up. Be not weary in well doing, for you gonna reap if you faint not. Somebody around you, I ain't tired no more. No, shake them, say, I ain't tired no more. God's about to give me my strength back. No, tell them, God's about to give me my strength back. Shake your neighbor's hand. Say to them, neighbor. Your strength is coming back. Ask him, did you know what today is? Due season. You, you got to find him. Tell him today is due season. You, you do this right here. This is your season of power. Shout yeah, shout yeah, shout yeah, shout yeah. It's your due. Do, do, do season. Okay. Okay. Uh, don't give up, sir. Don't do 
so don't give up. Don't give up. Watch this. So they dig the well, and when they dig the well, the first well they dig is a well called Essek. That's what Abraham called it, for it was called contention. The people are just fighting with me over everything. And watch this, I think I'm five minutes from the plane taking off. He, um, we, I just had a flashback. I just had a flashback. I got my arm, my white ankle, we'd be with Mr. Church. <laughs> It, it ain't okay. He, 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 he digs at a place called Essex. Contention. They fighting for everything. You ever talk to somebody, everything turned to argument? Here, here, go, to, here go the crazy piece, y'all, that want to help me preach tonight. Here, here go the crazy piece. Is what nobody thinking about the well until I made it well. And I can't stand people who won't do the work but want the reward. Okay, okay, okay. Because here go the problem is you weren't thinking about a well until God gave me an idea. And now that God gave me an idea, you still in my idea because you got a bigger platform but you ain't got a bigger prayer life. So here go, here go the problem. Boy, what would happen if they gave you credit for all the ideas they tried to steal from you? Essex, contention. You still with me, don't you? Essex, contention. And the text said when they came and they fought with him, check this out. They strove with him over the well and he let it go. You know, our problem is we don't know which battle is a battle and which battle is a blessing. He digs the well, moves the dirt, water starts springing up and they say, that's our well. Bad thing is, the text said that these are the same people that put dirt in the hole. So it's crazy they'll steal your work but don't know how to maintain it. All right. Watch, watch y'all. Sledge, here go the crazy part now, friend. Here's this. The Bible then says what he does is he leaves Essex, walks away from what they were fighting with, but doesn't leave the land. Because I got too much coming to fight you over something I already had. <laughs> watch. Tell your neighbor some things you got to learn to let it go. Because if you let it go, God will let something else come. I got somebody in the back talking to me. I'm almost there because I can feel, I can feel preaching my throat. Watch this. Um, then says he goes to a place and digs another well that his daddy dug. That well is called Sitna. He digs through the dirt, Thomas. After digging through the dirt, then the text said he found water again. Water comes up. Here come the Philistines. Sitting about the way means hatred. Last time they fought with you, this time they just hate you. But, but wait, because see, you don't know why they hate you, because if you knew, you probably would jump. They come fight him again, Vines. This time what he does... As he backs off, let it go again. Why do you keep doing all this work and then letting good stuff go? I don't know who I, who I came to preach to, but um, ca catch this revelation. That through the fight and the dirt, the reason they hate you is because no matter when you try, you still produce. Okay, y'all y'all are playing with me tonight, but look down that row and tell your neighbor everywhere I tried, I was good. 
I worked at Dollar Tree and got the promotion. Don't play me. I don't even act like that. I went to McDonald's and got the job and worked, took over. Don't don't play. Wherever I go, I win. I'm at Uber now. They pushing me up the scale. Don't try me. Tell two people, say, everywhere I go, I'm a win. Tell them, win is in my spirit. It's in my DNA. He digs at Essex. They fight with him. He digs at Sydney. They fight with him. And everywhere they fought, he would not get entangled into little fights with little people. One of these days, you're going to realize you're too big to argue small. Tell your neighbor, say, some of them people not on your level, they don't get a response. Tell them no response is the best medicine to somebody that keep trying to play you like you immature and you little. You must not know who you taught y'all to play. You don't know who you fooling with. Because if you keep trying me, what's going to happen is you're going to see the cattle on a thousand hills belong to God. Keep talking to me. I'm going to buy your house. Don't say nothing to me. Tell your neighbor, God going to position me with shut up money. I will make you be quiet by what I can procure right in your face. You ain't ever going to be able to tell me what I can't have because if God gives it to me, I'm going to get every. You better tell two people I'm getting ready to get approved, 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 approved. I, I need help on this side. I feel 17 approvals. I'm trying to be still. Tell somebody, say, God, go give me. Ha, ha, yeah, yeah. Then he then this this the end. Of her. He then, after fighting two times, he goes a little further and digs another well. Tell your neighbor they don't like me because after the fight, I'm still at it. You couldn't fight me out of favor. See, there are some people who thought they could frustrate you into stopping. You, no, man, you got to look again. Tell the neighbor, you can't frustrate me enough to make me stop doing what he called me. To. Why y'all playing on that side? Tell your neighbor, say, you ain't going to frustrate me enough. As a matter of fact, tonight, every enemy I got, I'm dancing in your face. So be careful. Everybody that's, I'm going to shout right by your shoes tonight. No, tell them, say, I'm about to shout right by you. And I may not have no rhythm, but I will get results. I know you just got into this house. You just got into this house and something went wrong. But the Lord said to tell you, I'm getting ready to make them work with you. I need to, I need to get up out of here. He said, I'm getting ready to make them work with you. I need to tell you tonight that God said he's a mold remover. Let me get, let me shut up about I feel the eat of in me. Uh, come on, Mama Sunday. Uh, another All right, all right, all right. Be, be careful, cause I feel the wind get ready to blow in here, and I ain't come back to Sunday or none. So I ain't got to the end of this message yet, but I feel the wind get ready to blow. Okay. There you go. There you go. Tried to tell you that was getting ready to hit this room. Just allow me to be your spiritual meteorologist. The wind getting ready to blow.
I started to tell somebody in the hallway tonight that God is about to get rid of the chemotherapy that your family members taking and it ain't gonna last and it ain't gonna last past the month he said everything gonna be gone I need to I need to get out of here though. hold on let me read my scripture let me, let me read my scripture let me read my scripture let me read my scripture let me read this you ready we at the end now children let me let me close this set this up right set it up right so I close this set it up right he digs another well there was Essex contention sitting hatred he comes to a new place digs this well the name of this well that springs forth is called Rehoboth. Read text. It said, for this one, they strove not. So you mean to tell me God let the first two small wells spring up so that small-minded people thought they had me trapped? He occupied you with something I didn't want in the first place. The text says that he names it Rehoboth and says for the Lord hath made room for us. I know that's normally where we shout but I, I can't see God letting them take two wells and giving me one. I demand equal time tonight. Whatever was taken, I want that plus something back. Oh no, no, tell your neighbor, say, I'm getting ready to get it all back. No, tell, tell, tell another one, say, I'm getting ready to get it all back. Leave it alone. You said do it? Okay, watch this. Go back there and tell her she won't have to worry about getting the car repaired because it's going to get replaced. <laughs> Hallelujah. Okay. Let me read this. It says, watch this now. Read the verses. Because the two, the two wells at the top, it said they strove with him, he left. They strove with him, he left. He gets to Rehoboth, and not only does he get a well, but then it said God has made room for us, and we shall be fruitful in the land. Okay, you, you missed a shout, ladies and gentlemen. So, I lost two wells, but I'm getting the well and fruit. Okay, so see, so see, wait a minute. So see, wait a minute, because the text said in verse 12 that he sold in the same year, the same year God gave him back a hundredfold. And not only did he give him a hundredfold, but he made him fruitful or blessed him there, right? But ladies and gentlemen, he had the pronouncement of the blessing before he actually touched the blessing. So watch this. Sometimes you get a prophecy that you got to work for. Let me read this. Tell your neighbor the word is good, but you got to work to see it come to pass. So tell your neighbor, you're going to get your word. You just got to go through some dirt to see it. Watch, watch, watch. Nick, Nick I'm done. I'm, I'm done right now. I'm done. This is where I end. Watch this. One. Text said, and he went up from there. Your Bible says bear Sheba. Hebrew is bear Shiva. He runs to that place and it says, and the Lord watch this, appeared to him. Okay, that was shoutable. Don't make me do it twice. And the Lord appeared to him. Which says something, I just got maybe two points on this, that he couldn't appear if he wasn't already there. Tell your neighbor he was with you through the fight. He just wanted to see if you was going to trust him to finish it. Oh, hold on. 
So he gets the well, doesn't fight some of it. Watch this. It then says, and the Lord appeared to him there. All right. Here go the other point. Not only is he there, but tell three people he getting ready to show you himself. <laughs> Okay, wait a minute. See, that term alone in the Bible that he's about to show you himself means that there's some hidden miracle that God's about to expose in front of you. You got it. You got it. Oh, find you a neighbor and tell them, neighbor, God's about to show you who he is. And tell them your enemy going to see who he is. Watch, watch this. It said, and the Lord appeared to him there watch what he said I am the God of Abraham your father fear not I am with you and will bless you and multiply your seed for my servant Abraham's sake tell two people God's about to bless you because of somebody who passed on from you you didn't even see this he said I'm going to bless you for your family's sake you don't even have to know what I told him I need five of y'all to help me preach right quick tell somebody say hey neighbor God's about to do my great grandmother a favor he going to bless me for something she prayed in the fields that I didn't hear he getting ready to bless me for something that my cousin got beat for watch how God I don't have help in here tonight Oh, please watch the text. I'm closing. Mm. The text said, and he built, verse 25, an altar there and called upon the name of the Lord and pitched his tent there. And there, Isaac's servants dug another well. Um, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So you want to know why God showed himself there? In, in Genesis 21, Abraham had gone to this same place. When he went there in Genesis 21, he did something that you're going to have to do tonight. He went there and made an oath. That's why Beersheba is called the Valley of the Oath. God let Isaac walk into his daddy's oath. When he walked into it, watch what he does. The text said God showed himself what he couldn't show Abraham, he showed his seed. What? Your family dreamed of houses, you getting ready to own them. Ooh, Shonda. They dreamed of millions, you getting ready to see it. I, I don't have no help in here now. Look, look at two people in your section and tell them, say, neighbor, stand by, I feel a miracle loaded. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. So, so, Jazza said they build an altar and they dig another well. You notice anything here? They got the multiplication. They got the first well named Rehoboth. This last well doesn't have a name. Because this ain't the well of his father. This the well of Isaac. Bishop, what you telling me? What, what, I, what I wanted to inform you tonight is that God said your next miracle, you can call it what you want to. Okay, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Because some of y'all don't need a house, you need a car. And some of y'all don't need a house or a car. You just need a steady income so you can get your business off the ground. So, so wait, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta hurry up out of here. Slap somebody's hand and tell them, say, neighbor, guess what? You ain't gonna die till it come to pass. Hold on, hold on, because I'm closing like this tonight. I'm closing like this tonight. Tell your neighbor, say, this is another well. This your well. And ain't nobody going to be able to take this one from you. I ask two people, what you think you're going to call it? Never be broke again, well. What you think you're going to call it? 
care how many times cancer went through my family, it ain't coming to this body. What you think you gonna call? The other, the other day, the other day, not the other day, it was Friday. Friday, we were, we were going, we were going to, uh, what was I going? Friday, where I preach at? To Milwaukee. And uh, got on the plane over here. And the uh, plane takes off. You, if you know me, you know what happened when I got on the plane. He went to sleep. Hmm. Went to sleep. And um, we get in the air over 30,000 feet in the air. And uh, the cabin pressure malfunctioned. Air starts squeezing people. Ears hard to breathe. So they said we got to make an emergency landing because what should have happened is the mass should have come down. But the mast didn't even come out. So quickly from 30,000 feet, they dropped to 10. To turn around, to bring us back to the ground quickly so that the pilots don't lose their breath. And um, I'm listening to them make their announcement and I'm listening to people get scared, right? And then all of a sudden I remembered something that they're talking about flotation devices under you. But I remember there was a word inside of me. So when I remembered there was a word inside of me, I knew then that the plane couldn't go down because there was a well I had to dig. I need to find three folk in this building tonight that'll look at somebody and tell them, say, hey neighbor, I know you've experienced some little pressure and everything seems to be malfunctioning, but I need to tell you God's about to make room for you. Tell your neighbor, don't you lose faith. You might have had a drop, but you didn't crash. All right, find you a neighbor fast. Look at him and say, neighbor, get ready, get ready, get ready. That's the wrong neighbor. Grab somebody's hand with joy tonight and tell them, say, hey, neighbor, God's plan is about to work for you. No weapon formed against you shall uh, be able to prosper. Lean uh, over and tell somebody the devil tried it real bad, but God made it fail. Shake somebody else's hand and tell them, say, I don't care how much dirt you experience. God said to tell you it ain't going to work and it ain't going to stop you. Grab uh, somebody else's hand and look at him and say, hey, hey, neighbor, God's about to pull you through it. I feel Rehoboth. Tell them, say, guess what, neighbor? Sow your seed. Build your altar. Then go dig. God's going to do the rest. Slap that neighbor high five. And tell them, say, get ready, get ready, get ready. Because the worst is over. And uh, the best is already here. Look at them and say, hey, I need to tell you something. Many are the affliction of the righteous but tell them the Lord shall deliver them out of them all I was a young now I'm older never see the righteous forsaken no I can't see begging bread find find you another solid neighbor and tell them say you're ready for change God's gonna do you a favor you're going to bring it to pass. Shake somebody else's hand like you're going to shake it off. And tell them, say, everything that God has promised you, it will. It's getting ready to happen. Turn 
I say to them neighbor, I cried in the middle of fighting, cried that I didn't know what to do, I cried and I almost fell apart, but then I'm God said to tell you that it ain't going like this, there's another well and another well on the other side of this, your future is brighter than what you're currently experiencing, Turn and say to your neighbor I need to tell you this these tears only watered the ground these tears only watered my soil look at them and say hey I need to tell you this we 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 I hear my gang in there somewhere Tell them joy is already coming It ain't coming tomorrow It'll be here tonight Slap them high five And say hey Stand by You about to see a miracle That's gonna blow your mind Stand by God's gonna do it But tell them say hey I need to tell you one thing Tell them my tears are about to pay my bills My tears are about to pay my credit off My tears are about to fix something behind me Ask them how do you know that God's gonna do it They did so in tears Shall, shall, shall reap in joy Find you another good neighbor Look at him and say, get ready, get ready Cause tell him, say, hey neighbor Tell him you ain't seen nothing yet I said, tell him you ain't seen nothing yet Tell him, say, eyes have not seen Ears have not heard Eyes have not seen Ears have not heard Eyes have not seen, ears have not heard. Eyes have not seen, ears have not heard. neighbor look at him and say neighbor I need a testimony service in the building tonight look at him and say neighbor I need a testimony service since we already here look at him and say neighbor when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all that he done for me my soul oh, cry out hallelujah Praise him for saving me. Yeah. Look at him and say, neighbor, can I ask you a question? Won't it really can it? Won't it really can it? Won't it will I can it? He will. You gotta find your help. Look at him and say, hey neighbor, it's the weekend. We might as well do it. We back in church together and the devil didn't win. Ask him what you feel like. I feel like a praise that don't make sense. That's unconventional but intentional. I feel like a praise that'll shake something up. Look at him and say, neighbor, help me praise him my way. Ask him what's your way. Open up your mouth, shout it like you know. Open up your mouth, you can say, shout it like you know. Where all that? Open up your mouth, shout it like you know. Open up your mouth, shout it like you know.
Open up your mouth, yeah Shout it like you know Open up your mouth Shout it like you know Shout now Cause the worst is over And The best is here And The best is already turning And It's your turn now And It's your season now And It's your time to praise him And If you praise him here He gon' turn down I can't find my game I said, tell him he gon' turn it. Slap somebody high five and say he gon' turn it. Slap them high five. Hey, he gon' turn it. Look at him and say, hey neighbor, I need to ask you a question. What you feel like tonight? Shake that neighbor's hand and say, hey neighbor. What you feel like tonight? I don't know what God gonna do, but before midnight tonight, he, he gonna turn it around. Slap somebody high there and say, neighbor, I feel a comeback grace on you. Tell them God's gonna do you a favor. Shake, shake somebody's hand. If they let you touch them and say, neighbor, I need you to know if any two of us touch and agree, it shall be done. I can't find my help. I said, tell them it shall be done. Look at him and say, get ready for it. Sometime tomorrow, he gonna blow your mind. Oh, Tell him I feel it coming. Find you a neighbor and lay your hand in your neighbor's back and tell him, say, neighbor, I know you feel my hand in your back, but it ain't my hand, it's God's hand. And God told me to give you this because you've been stuck. The enemy tried to paralyze you, tried to make you not move. But I came to tell you tonight that this is from God. Push that neighbor and tell him, there you go. That's the push you needed to get you through the year. There you go. He get ready to push you to another place in him. Tell him, say, guess what, neighbor? It ain't going like this. Find one more neighbor and put your forearm on that neighbor's shoulder and press down a little bit and say, neighbor, this has been you under pressure, but not out of praise. You've been down and stuck, but God said to tell you, it's getting ready to happen because by midnight, this is going to happen. What's going to happen? Get your arm off their shoulder. No more pressure. The pressure, the pressure just lifted. Favor just landed. Came and said it in me. Tell them, say, neighbor, it just lifted. The pressure is over. Grace is showing up. Find you a neighbor. Look at him and sing, neighbor. God said to tell you that the enemy you see today, you'll see them no more. I wish I had a church here that'll look at somebody and tell them, get ready for it. I feel a miracle is about to happen. Slap three folk high five and tell them your breakthroughs in the building. Tell them it's in the building. Woo. Slap them high five and say, Get it. God's going to do it. I was looking for the praisers who were set to praise him. I'm 
just waiting for a few praises. That's it. I did my part. You got to do yours. I don't know how. And I don't know when. But I know. God going to do it. No, you got to find somebody in your section. Tell him, I don't know when he going to do it. I don't know how he going to do it. But I know he's going to do it. Yeah. You got to find three folk that look happy. And tell them, neighbor, it's getting ready to turn. I said, tell them it's getting ready to turn. Oh, yeah. I said, tell them it's getting ready to turn. Slap three folk high five say unexpected checks two before the end of the month. No, tell them before the end of the month. How? I don't know when, but I know God gonna do it. No, 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 find somebody and tell them this is a done deal. Your bank account gonna respond to your next praise. What kind of praise do you need to give him? A two years worth or a three years? Thirty seconds. You gotta put your foot on this. Yes, ma'am. two people next to you tell them say hey neighbor your breakthroughs in the building but you gotta break past you to see him if you praise him tonight something's gonna hit tomorrow what you gonna do
hear me. Tap her right there. There we go. Thank you. Yeah, I was going to tell them to tap you too. To tell y'all that God said just now that dance just got y'all seven contracts. Hold on, hold on. S since everybody's up, this will be easy. But there are seven of y'all in here that's having landlord trouble. And um, God said, oh, see, Mother, I wasn't going to point nobody out tonight. But uh, those of y'all having landlord trouble, God said he's about to show you who's the Lord of the land. I just need to tell you that right quick. You might need to praise him right where you at. Say this. I need to say this. There's 10 in this room, 25 online, who know that the launch of your business is gonna set you up right. But fear keeps creeping in, making you think you're gonna fail. But God said to tell you tonight, you have nothing to fear. I'm about to endorse you myself. He said, I'm getting ready to blow on your business and your faith in yourself. He said, praise me until fear jumps out of your business plan. He said, praise me until fear jumps out of your... level best to not only set yourself up but to help other men he said because of that tonight I'm about to open a door for you that nobody's gonna be able to shut sounds like a cliche but it's not he said tell him tonight that I'm about to send funding for a dream in his spirit and I'm about to send the money and God said you're gonna be able to get some other people to a place called recovery he said you get ready to be able to help some other men recover there's something you see what's happening right now God said to tell you that you getting ready to get a whole lot of people clean and delivered he said tell you tonight this is your turning point he said to tell you I brought you here because of what I'm getting ready to make out of you he said I'm gonna make you a Moses because you knew the streets but now you know your God he said tell you I'm getting ready to pull you through I need somebody to help me pray Don't 
don't, 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 don't mess up, but hold on. There's, uh, there's some people in this room while I'm talking to him. There's some people in this room and online that God said, I'm about to do you a solid favor. Watch this. He said to tell you, I'm going to clean your record so I can show you your future. I need some folk in here who God's about to get some charges off of you. Some stuff on your record is about to be expunged because God's going to do you a favor. Dance, baby. Your hands, lift your hands, lift your hands, lift your hands. That just hit you because where you wanted to go, you couldn't go because something keeps holding you back. Even when you explain yourself, they still don't listen. But watch this God said, Tell you tonight, I'm gonna get this off your record, not because of you, He said, but because of your grandmother. I'm about to get person that keeps having reoccurring sinus infections come in where, where are you somebody keeps having this reoccurring sinus infection I need to lay hands on you where, where's the person that's you okay come here he sound like his grandma I don't know lift your hands sir. I'm not gonna call you shout out about as of tonight, sir, what you used to deal with on the regular will not come back. It is not coming back. Do you hear me? God said, I'm clearing everything out tonight and I'm restoring everything in you so that um, in the spring allergy season won't be as bad as it has been. He said, tell you, you're going to be able to breathe. He said, to top out. He said, tell you, you're going to be able to breathe. I need somebody to open your mouth and give him glory, glory, glory. Please be seated one second. Be seated one second. We're almost there. Please, I adjure thee, please be seated. I promise you won't miss nothing. I come my home, y'all. I'm to you. They like you at that location, but God said, I'm going to change locations and you won't have to worry about numbers. He said, I'm going to change locations. You won't have to worry about numbers. He says, somebody's about to call in a favor for you. And God said, when he makes this call, they're going to listen to him because the person that's at the other location is going to abruptly leave the company. But that's what's going to open the door for you. He says, it's not a problem. You get ready to see things open up for you swiftly and then he said yes I changed the house now I'll change the car be 
Be seated, please. Be seated, please. Just tell your neighbor, say, just follow the directions. It's going to seem a little weird, but follow the directions. Tell your neighbor, your miracle's here. Stand up, turn around and sit on down. Let that praise out your mouth. Let that praise out your mouth. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, be seated. Stay seated. You have to stand up. I'm not everybody else sitting now. You sit down. But I just wanted to tell you, Rehoboth is what they call it. When God makes room for you, He'll let people get it for you, maintain it for you, then He makes them hand it to you. You're about to find favor with some people. That when their door closes, their door is going to become your door. And I see a sign going up surrounded by bricks. Well, on the right of it and the left that says Tabernacle of Praise International. It lights up because God is gonna force this property into your hand. He said, like Joseph, I'll bring you in through the prison. Then I'll give you the keys to the palace because when your ministry brings deliverance to theirs and healing is manifested he said I'm going to make this man put it in your hand looks like looks like almost looks like almost a caucasian person that God is about to cause favor to fall on you from their eyes and things are going to turn I need to tell you tonight that his name is Jesus Christ and he's from Nazareth hallelujah he said to Tato he said tell him tonight I'm getting ready to make somebody give him favor he said because when truth comes across the street from what I believe it's going to open my eyes and make me see that those are the people that are supposed to have this property. I only need 15 of y'all to shout because God said I'm going to give you a building then give you the buildings. Okay. Okay. I don't have no help here tonight. He said I'm going to give you the building and then give you the buildings. I need, I need five of y'all to slap somebody high five and say my property just got released. I'm trying to, I'm trying to become a kushakata Tell somebody, say neighbor, if you need a building, now's the time to just jump one time. If you didn't, here we go, here we go. Gonna be crazy because where you church is gonna be your new daycare. Let me get this out of here. I gotta hurry up. I need somebody to help me praise him right fast. I got we got another turn coming. We got another turn. We got another turn. We'll mess up bad, but we got another turn coming here. Oh, sire, 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 sire. Fall out there. Okay, 
Be, be seated. Be seated. Be seated. Be seated. Be seated. Just, just tell somebody, say done. Somebody clothing line over here getting ready to jump off. There's a clothing line in this section right here that's get okay. I knew I heard him. I just I just said hey, hey. It was time consuming, but it gave you peace. You just weren't making the money you wanted from it because you didn't really know how to get your brand out there. Can I tell you that God said you're getting ready to go back to it? He said, and calling yourself a CEO won't just be a title. It's about to be factual. All right, you play me tonight. I'm just telling you tonight that God said to tell you tonight, I'm getting ready to make it good. He said, I'm going to go back to your high school days and give you all that dream back. All right, let, let me move. He said, I'm about to give you all that dream back you had in high school of everything you said you were going to do. He said, tell her I'm about to speed it up. I'm about, I, I need a church tonight. And, uh, turn around and sit on down. Don't mess up because I don't know if the person next to you likes you, but just touch them and tell them you'll never be broke another day in your life. Tell them God's about to maximize your money. Oh, my son, and tell them every license you need, you're getting ready to get it. Where that real estate license at over on that side over there? They, they, okay, there you go, jump, baby, because it's coming. Somebody else wanted to sell in insurance. You're getting ready to be able to. I, I got I to gotta hurry up tonight, though. Please be seated. Just tell the person this. You'll never be broke another day in your life. And God's about to position you to work for yourself. Hold on. Let me make this announcement. If this is you, then just respond. If it's you, if it's not you, just be still. Let it go to the one next to you. Tell your neighbor, I'm finna go from mistakes to millions. got to go back to stand up yeah come come around here all right I see you with a basket 
going to these three places I'm going to mention because God said get back to it. He said, tell her, go back to Hobby Lobby. He said, tell her to go back to Michael's. And he said, there's another place, Joanne's. He said, you've got to go to all three places so that you can start getting the orders that you need for what it is that he told you to do. Because you were wondering how in the world you were going to make up for lost income. He said, the income is in your hand. I need to... Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. She, she only had to come all the way back. Just go, go get me a broom. I need a broom. Thank you so kind. Be seated. Tap somebody and say, you, you will never be broke another day in your life. Tell me, that's, that's not going to happen. Because God's about to fund your dream. No, tell them, say, God about to fund your dream. Thank you so much. Um, where, where is she at? Oh, how you doing, Precious? Come here. Interesting. God, God told me to get a broom and to call you. Give me a favor. Just sweep right here. Okay. So hold on, please. Annette, let me say this to you. In the in the book of Kings, when they were about to go to war and they asked Elijah for help, Elijah told them to strike the ground. He then got upset with them because they only struck the ground three times. He was mad because he knew that as many times as they struck the ground, that's how many times they would win. And here tonight, I only asked you to sweep right here. But because you kept going, God said every place the sole of your foot tread upon, I'm about to drop a cleaning contract in your hand. I mean, I signed up. All right. Let me, let me get out of here. Tell your neighbor, say, I'm getting ready to put my business in motion. I'm not, if I get the opportunity, I'm going to strike it more than three times. I don't care what God say. I ain't giving him one dance. I'm giving him eight for one word. Okay. All right, we got to go. We got to go. Back again, I see. Tell your neighbor, say, as many times as you strike it, that's how many times you're going to win. All, 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 all right. All right. Okay, we, we, we're done. We're done. I want to tell you so bad that God said, not only is it going to work out, it worked out. He said, I mentioned your name in their sleep. Okay. Look, look at your name and tell them I got one dance left. And this is for the rest of the year. When I praise him tonight, you going to see me coming to some money from a memory I had of something God did yesterday.
now you gotta tell them say God's getting ready to blow both of our minds before the end of September but by the end of the year you're gonna be sitting on a lump sum of money I, God I need some help in this church tonight watch what I tell you you, you better find 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 you a neighbor say to them name he he turned it No, tell you never say you got one dance left. What you do with this dance determines what he does with your year. Now, how you gonna play this one out? Touch that lady right yeah 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 hey hey ma'am this hey how you doing right here with the with the black t-shirt on how you doing can I, can I tell you a secret and um if you don't want to dance you don't have to and if I'm wrong don't move but I just need to tell you this God said tell her I just fixed her living arrangements yeah. Hold on, because the dear lady with the white, she got in the aisle. She's right here. She got in the aisle because she thought I was talking to her first, but I wasn't. I was talking to this other lady, but now God said, go ahead and tell her that he answered your prayer from February. There's about to be a miracle. He said, come on, show me. Hold on, because there's six people in here that are working under contract. God said, I'm going to change you from contract to full time. You just might need to praise them right where you at right now. I don't care what your neighbor tell you. You need to dance right where you at. I can't see really well because of the light. There's a there's a, a lady way back there in the back. All right, let me give you a base. There's a person behind you with green on. Okay, in front of you is the person I'm talking to. You look back and you turn back around. Just wave at me if you, nope, the other one. Right there, that one, that lady right there. Yeah, raise your hand. But yes, right there, all the way up, all the way up, uh-huh, uh-huh, all the way up. This one she got on, it looked like you got on Joseph's coat. You got on Joseph's coat. You way, way back to the back. I need to tell you two things. 
Thing number one is God said what they forgot, I'm about to make them remember about you. He said, tell you tonight that what looked like you were stepped over, God said, I'm about to let you into. He said, not only are you about to step into it, but he said, I'm going to put your life back together again. Something shattered your life, but God said, I'm about to put it back together again. Then he said, tell you these words. There is a preacher in Cobb County that you have to tell that God said to tell him to be quiet because he's being accused by some people who want his spot. His spot isn't even here. I got to fly to get there. But he said, tell him these words. I'm not only about to secure his seat, I just secured his future. He said, tell him these words, his businesses are about to explode. And his ministry is going to know that God has visited it. And the tongue of the enemy is about to be silenced because he said tonight I'm about to work a wonder in him like none has ever seen oh God he says I'm about to work a wonder in him like none has ever seen he said to tell you to tell him to tell the church it's getting ready to happen now normally I wouldn't tell somebody to go tell the preacher but because you and the preacher have a a connection from from back when right because it's almost like sibling pastor rivalry thing he said to tell you these words I'm I'm getting ready to blow things up for him he said he ain't seen nothing yet the eyes of the nation are about to be turned to him for what God is about to do I gotta let it go but he said tell you tonight to tell him to get ready cuz y'all gonna pay the building off early let me move said tell the woman standing to her right to get ready because I'm going to right the wrongs and her business is getting ready to explode. I need, I need somebody to help me praise him. Go with me there. Uh, approved. Let me tell you again. Approved. <laughs> 